Hello everyone. Uh, Courtney here from Animator Dragon. Welcome back to part three of tutorials. Peril. Um, oh my gosh. Tutorials. Peril. Peril's tutorial from Wings of Fire. Okay. Um, so you should have done the wing, the legs, uh, and the top of the head. Okay. This. Now, when we were filming the head, I forgot to add the nose spike, of course. <laughs> so what I did was I just did a um, chain with two double looped bands and then slip knotted it and then just hit the slip knot um, in, in the head. So if you want to add that nose spike, totally do that now. Okay. Um, all right, so in this video, we are going to be doing the body. Okay. She is mostly red and she has some um, shiny areas in her body too, which I will be using the, that shiny orange that I used for the wings, I will be using that again for that. All right, so this will be done in seven, like 12 parts, but the parts shouldn't take that long, hopefully. All right, so we're gonna start with um, our loom in the rectangular configuration, and we're gonna take two red bands at a time. Pumpkin is sleeping right now, so hopefully she will stay quiet and not start playing with her toys while I'm filming. <laughs> if she does, I have to take her toys away, and I always feel bad doing that. Otherwise, I could put her in a room upstairs, but that's just mean, so... <laughs> she is a good dog. So I'm just filling this whole thing up. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm a little short on my regular red bands, so I'm going to use the fire red for the horizontals here, okay? If you have enough regular red bands, then use those, but I do not think I do, so I'm using the fire red as horizontals here, just taking two at a time. Oh, and you know what else? I forgot. We want to get rid of these two back rows because we're actually not going to use these for this part. I'm making the neck a little shorter. I did two trials of the neck and it looked a little long, so we're going to shorten it a little bit. There we go. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. One, two, three. Okay. Continuing. All right, here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two bands, put them between those two. This is not a double looped band. And two between these two. And again. All right. 
Okay. Now I'm going to take my head and I'm going to hold it right side up and I'm going to attach the loose, the three loose back ends to these three pegs. And as I attach, I'm going to pull off the tying band. So you want to make sure they don't lift off the pegs. like the whole. All right, then we want to lift off the top loops of each set onto our hook here. And I'm going to take two bands and stretch them across like that. and replace the loops. Okay. So now I'm gonna All right, let me think here for a moment. All right, this is how we're going to do this because she has shiny stripes that go across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single shiny orange band, same color I used for the inside of the wings, and I'm going to wrap it twice around my hook, just like that. So there's two loops around the hook. Now as I loop up this set here at the side, I'm going to pull that on there. Okay. And then I'm going to put my hook through it and go across and loop up the other side. And pull it through that band and loop it like that. Okay? Now I'm going to take a brown band onto my hook and I'm going to wrap around creating four loops like that. And I'm going to dig down here. Oops. And as I loop up, I'm going to pull brown band on like that. Okay. So that ensures that this um, little spike on, on her neck will be above the stripe and the stripe will not cover the spike. Like before when I was filming it was covering it so I redid it. Let's do it again. So we want to start with the stripe and then do the spike very important because if you do the spike first it'll get covered up by the stripe and we don't want that okay so we'll just continue this oops let me wrap it twice around If you only wrap it once around, the stripe will kind of lift off the neck and it won't look good. Okay, 
Now this next set I'm going to make, well, here, just watch what I'm doing here. So I did five sets so far. This next set I'm going to start like I did before. But then for the spike I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take a band, wrap it around my hook, creating five loops. Then I'm going to double loop a band, pull it on. and reclaim. Right, so her spike is a slightly bigger here. Okay. And we're gonna continue that way. And I actually have a couple of those already made, so I'm just gonna use those. Okay, what I'm going to do here before I tie this off and take it off, I'm going to count down to the fifth peg on each side. So one, two, three, four, five. This one here, I'm going to go through all the bands. Oh, wait, no, not the fifth. Yeah, that one. Okay. And I'm going to take two regular red bands through, grab the other end and just tie it off with a slip knot. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side as well. And now I'm just going to tie off these top ends here with any color, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna slowly lift off from the bottom. more like it. Alright, that's more like the neck I want to see <laughs> after my other two trials. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tug out these loose bands gently, the, the sets on the, on the sides there. Okay. Now I'm going to make these two uh, one row longer each. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take two red bands here, two red bands there, two red bands here. Actually, no, I don't want to use red. I'm going to use orange, not red. Just kidding, guys. Orange. Regular orange here. Because I'm going to change her... Um, I 
can I do regular random? Two, three, four, five. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do red. Sorry. Do red. Two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna do red here though. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this side, this band here that's tied with the black, take the black band off, wrap it around that peg, lift up the top two loops off. Then you're going to take the first set of these two orange loops, loop around there, second set loops around here, third set loops around here. Replace the loops back over and then just loop up. And tie off. Simple enough, right? the other side. Thing, replace the loops and loop up. This will make the base of the neck wider. Okay, great. Oh, she's going to be cool. All right, moving on to. Her main body. All right, ready guys? Here we go. We're going straight down the middle with two reds at a time. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> this is the farthest I've gotten because I did two trial videos before and it didn't turn out, so. So we're starting with the center part of her back and then we're going to do the two side sections. Alrighty, so I filled it. Now I'm going to do some horizontals. So I'm going to take my fire red. Again, if you are using regular red for your horizontals, keep using that. Putting two across at a time.
oh, I'm sorry, these top three, I'm not even thinking as I go, no. these top three um, horizontal sets, we're going to do two here, two here, two there, two there, two there, and two there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the three center sets to here, only the center ones, okay? Um, and uh, we can leave the tying bands on, that's fine. Leave the tying bands on because you'll because it'll be a help later. Because you'll need to find that set for the next section. So just leave them on. Okay, now just bear with me during this portion because I might have to pause and check um, some things as I go. Push down your edges. We're going to be adding some horizontals um, that are hanging off here. So I'm going to take two bands of the fire red or whatever color you're doing your horizontals with and just laying them on the edges here. two here and stop. So you don't want to lay them on this edge because this band will extend over the next section. Do the same on this side. Just like that. All right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Take that shiny band for the stripe across the middle of her back. Wrap it twice around your hook. And we're going to loop up here and pull it on right gently over those two loose bands there. Grab it on your hook. Go over to the other side and loop this guy here, like that, over those bands. Now we want to <coughs> take the, make another spike, same as before, same size, and loop up the middle and pull it on. Okay, like that. We're going to do that uh, one more time, just like that. Okay. Shiny band. Now, what I'm going to do here, this is where we're going <clears> to <throat> begin the wing attachment, okay? So it's very important that you do this in the correct order. Okay. So, we're going to take either wing, it doesn't matter because they're both the same, right, pretty much. You're going to turn it so it's like this. So the spike at the top, the single spike is toward the head and then you're going to flip it like that. And this wing we're going to attach to this side. Okay, not this side, this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the top set where the red is, where the brown stripes are. You're going to go through those loops that are tied off and just wrap that first set around this peg here. Okay, so that goes around here. 
Okay. Actually, it probably doesn't matter whether it's flipped the other way or not. Yeah, you know what? We're going to put it on this way. So flip it. Go through that red set, same set, and we're going to actually attach it facing this way. Otherwise, it'll be impossible. <laughs> Highly difficult. Okay, take your other wing, and we're going to attach that to the other side. So the other wing faces the other way. All right, go through that top. layer there and attach to this peg here just like that make sure none of these loose bands fall off okay all right take a shiny band wrap around twice around your hook dig down and as you loop up pull that on go in it go to the other side loop up and attach and now let's have to make another spiky Exactly the same as before. And we'll loop up like that. Okay. Great. So now we're going to attach the next set of the wings onto the next peg. So this, the middle set of the red here. Go through all the loops, wrap it around the next peg. Same thing on this side. Okay. So again, take a shiny orange band, wrap it twice around your hook, and dig down. Loop up, pull it on, go through it, go to the other side, pull it through, make another spike. And loop up and attach the spike. <laughs> Isn't this fun? All right, last set of the red here on the wing. Go through it. Attach to the next peg in line. Again, making sure the loose bands on the ends here don't come off. Shiny band. Just continuing the pattern, just continuing the pattern, guys. Okay, same thing again. You just gotta take your time with this and make sure you're not forgetting any part of it, any part of the pattern. So if it takes you an hour to do this part, it takes you an hour. That's okay. And make sure you're not skipping any of these wing sets. Do not skip any. So be very careful. Mm -hmm. 
course the band fell off there. I'm just gonna fix that. One of my uh, those bands seem to have come off there. Just ignore what I'm doing. I'm just fixing mine. Okay. Alright, we're almost there, guys. Getting there. Okay, now we have three ends left on each side, but we're only going to attach this next one. So two of them are going to be left hanging after this, after this section, which is okay.
Alrighty. Let's tie off these ends. Any color doesn't matter. Um, use a different color than what you tied your wings off with. So I tied my wings off with black, so I'm going to use yellow here. Just so I can tell the difference. It'll be helpful. Okay, so now I'm going to oh so carefully lift this off. nerve-wracking, isn't it? I know. I'm always worried that we didn't loom all the bands or didn't wrap the ends around correctly. So, all right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take off the tying bands of the wings that are already wrapped around. Don't take off these here at the base of the neck. We want to keep those on. Or the, yeah, the orange ones um, here. Do not take those off. Those three tying bands here where we started at the bottom. We're going to take off the black ones here that are around the wing. But make, remember there's two loose ends that we didn't attach yet so we, you don't want to take those off yet. The ones at the end. All right, now I'm gonna pull all these loose bands outward so they're not stuck in the middle of the body like that. Same thing on the other side. Okay, the ones at the end here won't come out as far because they're a little deeper in there and that's good. Here are confused a little bit. There we go. There they are. Okay. So it looks like that, right? Okay. She's going to be beautiful, you can already tell, right? 
All right, so I'm going to do the two sides now here and here, okay? So I'm going to start with my red bands. And I'm just going to go two, three times down. Then I'm going to take two of the shiny orange, go over. And then two at a time of the shiny orange. We will go down. that and then we'll do the red down like this. Actually let's switch these two. We'll put the red first then the shiny orange. There's a reason for my seemingly insane logic here. <laughs> And then the two shiny orange, like this. Ugh! What happened? All right. So I'm going to take my dragon. I'm going to turn her so she's right side up. OK. Okay there, pocket. I'm going to find that black band here. And I'm going to wrap it around here. Okay, of that side. Okay, notice. You got it. Make sure you have it right. All right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take these two fire red and stretch them across both of these. And I'm going to go up and continue to do that. have two of them okay we want to use this one okay with the muscle the stripes are facing that way the foot is facing that way okay make sure you don't attach the wrong foot otherwise it'll be backwards on her you don't want that the elbow is facing towards the back all right what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to first I'm gonna dig down and I'm gonna loop the orange bands. Not this one yet though, okay? Don't loop that one. Then I'm going to take that leg and I'm going to go through the first set, okay? And I'm going to wrap that right around this peg here. Oops, make sure you go through all the loops. I missed one there. And the second one, the smaller one, get through all those loops. That will wrap around this peg here. And then we will loop up. Up to here. Then we're going to lift part of her off, not all the way up. 
just to loosen up some of the bands here. Okay, and I'm going to take the next set of loose bands here around that peg. Next one goes around that peg, and the final one goes around that peg. Then we will loop up the orange set, and then the rest of the way up. And we will tie this off with any color band. All right, there we go. There's one side. We can pull off the tying bands around her legs. And that black band around the base of the neck. All right, so there's one side. More. Let's do the other side. So it's exactly the opposite of what we just did. So two red bands at a time all the way down. Take the shiny yellow color dragon. We're going to attach that black band at the base of the other side of the neck. And right around here. Then we'll start attaching those red bands. Okay. Two there. Sure you have three sets left, three shorter ones, before you do anything else. All right, we're going to loop the orangey guys first. Again, only up to here. All right, then you're going to take your other front leg, turn it so the foot is toward the head. Go through the first set, and that gets wrapped whoops, around this peg here, and go through the second set. That gets wrapped around this peg here. Then we will loop that Okay, stop when you get to here, because we have to lift part of her off. Then we take the next set of loops around here, next set around here, next set around here.
guys, we successfully made her upper body. Roar. Look at her underneath. Roar. She's going to be really cool. Alright, we're going to take off the tying bands on the base of the neck here. Including those orange ones, which actually we didn't end up needing. I thought we did, but... No, we did not. And the tying bands around the legs, if you haven't done that. The front legs here. Anyway, time to do the back part of her body. Okay. Alright, so this... Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause here, and I'm going to start a new video for part four, in case I make an error, because <laughs> I did so much work in this part. Alright, so go to the next part. And we will continue with her body.